Have you ever wondered about the fascinating world of pangolins and armadillos? What makes these creatures so unique and different from each other? Today, we're going to embark on a journey into the lives of these intriguing animals, each boasting its own set of fascinating characteristics. Pangolins, often referred to as scaly anteaters, are solitary creatures found in Asia and Africa, known for their unique protective armor of scales. On the other hand, we have armadillos, New World mammals, recognized by their own brand of armor, a leathery shell. They call the Americas their home, roaming from Argentina to the southern United States. Despite their distinct geographical locations, these animals share some striking similarities, yet they're also vastly different in many ways. From their diet to their defense mechanisms, there's a myriad of aspects that make pangolins and armadillos such captivating subjects of study. Stay tuned as we delve into the intriguing lives of these two extraordinary creatures. Imagine a creature covered in scales with a long snout and even longer tongue. Yes, that's a pangolin for you. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of pangolins. These remarkable creatures are the only mammals in the world to be completely covered in scales. These scales are made of keratin, the same material that makes up our hair and nails. Pangolins are solitary, nocturnal animals, mostly found in Asia and Africa. Their natural habitats range from tropical forests to grasslands and even arid zones. It's quite a sight to see a pangolin moving around, as they often walk with their front claws rolled up for protection. This doesn't hinder them, though, as they're excellent climbers and swimmers. Their diet is predominantly insectivorous. A pangolin's long, sticky tongue, which can be longer than its body, is perfect for reaching into anthills and termite mounds, their favorite meals. They have no teeth and rely on their stomach, which is specially adapted to grind food with the help of small stones and sand they swallow. One of the most interesting behaviors of pangolins is their defensive mechanism. When threatened, they roll up into a near-perfect ball, protecting their vulnerable underbellies. Their tough, sharp scales serve as an almost impenetrable shield against predators. Pangolins have a unique place in the ecosystem, serving as natural pest controllers. Their voracious appetite for insects means they play a crucial role in regulating insect populations, thus maintaining a balance in their habitats. Yet, despite their importance, pangolins are among the most trafficked mammals in the world. Their scales are highly sought after in some cultures for use in traditional medicine, and their meat is considered a delicacy. This has led to a significant decline in their populations, pushing them to the brink of extinction. So that's the pangolin, a truly unique creature. But how does it compare to the armadillo? Let's find out in our next scene. Now, think of a small creature with a leathery armor shell and sharp claws. Enter the armadillo. This quirky little mammal hails from the Americas, its name translating from Spanish as Little Armored One. And that's a fitting title. The armadillo's body is decked out in hard, bony plates, a natural armor that protects it from predators. But it's not just a walking shield. This creature is armed with sharp claws, perfect for digging and hunting. Armadillos are quite the diggers, in fact, they're among the best in the animal kingdom. They make their homes in burrows, which they excavate with their strong legs and sharp claws. These burrows not only provide shelter, but also act as a refuge from predators and extreme weather. Now what's on the menu for these armored diggers? Armadillos are primarily insectivores, feasting on ants, beetles, termites, and other small invertebrates. They use their keen sense of smell to locate their prey underground, then dig them out with their claws. But they're not strictly bug eaters. They're known to supplement their diet with plants, eggs, and even small vertebrates when the opportunity arises. As for their special behaviors, armadillos have a few tricks up their armored sleeves. One of their more notable abilities is their knack for rolling into a ball when threatened. This tactic, known as volvation, creates a nearly impervious shield around the armadillo, protecting it from predators. And if that weren't enough, some armadillos can even inflate their stomachs and intestines to float across water. Armadillos are more than just armored critters, they're survivors. Their unique adaptations help them thrive in a variety of environments, from grasslands to rainforests and even semi-deserts. 
Yet despite their resilience, they're not immune to the threats posed by habitat loss and climate change. These challenges remind us of the importance of conservation efforts to protect these fascinating creatures. That's the armadillo, a creature as fascinating as the pangolin. But what sets them apart? Now that we know about both these creatures, it's time to see how they stack up against each other. Both pangolins and armadillos are known for their distinctive armor-like scales, a unique adaptation in the animal kingdom. These protective shields, while similar in function, are different in their structure. Pangolins are the only mammals with true scales, made of keratin, the same substance as our hair and nails. Armadillos, on the other hand, sport bony plates covered in a tough skin layer. When it comes to habitat, pangolins and armadillos show a great deal of diversity. Pangolins are native to Asia and Africa, preferring tropical regions, while armadillos are found primarily in South and Central America, with one species, the nine-banded armadillo, extending into North America. In terms of diet, both animals are insectivorous, meaning they mainly feast on insects. Pangolins use their long, sticky tongues to slurp up ants and termites. Armadillos, possessing less specialized tongues, dig up grubs and other insects with their sharp claws. Behaviorally, there are notable differences. Pangolins are solitary animals, meeting only to mate. Armadillos, however, depending on the species, can be solitary or social. Some, like the three-banded armadillo, prefer a solitary life, while others, like the nine-banded armadillo, are known to form small groups. The defenses of these creatures are also worth mentioning. When threatened, a pangolin will roll into a tight ball, presenting its sharp scales to any predators. Armadillos, in contrast, have different strategies depending on the species. Some will also roll into a ball, while others will dig a quick burrow or even leap into the air to startle predators. And there you have it, a comparative study of the pangolin and the armadillo. Two unique creatures, each with its own fascinating tale to tell. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the animal kingdom.